Hey everybody, Ann here. This video today is all about Torch and yesterday, well actually for about the last three or four days, he's been acting very strangely. I would find him out free ranging all by himself in the middle of the field and he wouldn't be moving, he wouldn't be hunting and pecking, he would just be standing there not moving, kind of, I, I don't know, he's, his wings weren't dropped, um, I just couldn't figure it out. So I kept trying to usher him over to the other baby chicks where they were free ranging and he would catch up for a little while, but he wouldn't hunt and peck with them. He would just stay there and not move. So I don't know what happened to him. It almost seemed like he was confused sometimes. Um, it seemed like he wasn't wanting to move his wings around. It was just really distressing. So um, I brought him in and just tried to nurse him a little bit so these clips are me doing that look here got torch in this little box because for about the last three or four days he has been acting really out of sorts kind of like I don't know he just kind of stares like that he doesn't even peep much unless I try and pick him up he has been eating and his stool has been normal but it's like he's terrified. I let him out to free range and for the last two days I would find him way off like the chickens would be free ranging over or off to the left of the tiny house and he'd be way out in the middle of that field by himself just standing there looking around like this. And I've looked at his wings and I can't tell if they're injured. I don't know if something traumatic happened to him. Um, something kind of weird did happen on my property a few days ago. Um, I don't know that I'll share that, but, um, he may be just terrified. I don't know, just maybe terrified. Um, not dogs or anything. Dogs haven't been around. Um, so I don't think it's that. I mean, literally, I mean, I've seen none of my neighbor's dogs on my property. So I know it's not dogs. I know he's not afraid of that. Um, I don't know if he's sick. Uh, like I said, the stool that he ha that I saw was normal, but he's just like this. So today I kept him in this run over here all day long, and I've decided that tonight I'm just going to bring him inside with me and just watch him and give him his own food and water. I'm going to make him some scrambled eggs later tonight. Uh, he's got a little grit down in there too. I looked at his vent. He's not pasting up. Um, he doesn't look bloated or anything, so, but you know what, I'm not a chicken doctor, so I don't know what a bloated chicken looks like. He doesn't have any, um, swelling around his eyes or neck or throat or anything like that. He's not panting. Um, he just looks terrified. So, I'm gonna give him a little bit of extra special love, and hopefully, God willing, he'll be okay. Just look at him, poor baby. Oh my goodness. He just looks confused. Oh God, please let him be okay. Please. He's such a beautiful, beautiful, or she. I don't even know if it's really a rooster yet. Doesn't matter. Me. Beautiful chicken. Poor thing. This poor guy. He has just been out of it. He's actually perked up a little bit. He's moving now. He's moving his head and he's chirping every once in a while. But what I did is I made some scrambled eggs for him, and he he won't eat it unless I'm holding him, and I put it in the palm of my hand, and he pecks it out of my hand. I know that's setting up a bad precedent, but I also made an electrolyte solution, and he wouldn't drink it. He I would dip his beak in it, and he just wouldn't he wouldn't drink it at all. So what I did, and you know what? I'm thinking, gosh, I don't have a dropper. I don't have a medicine dropper. I don't have any syringes you think me being a retired nurse I would have some syringes you know a home care nurse always has syringes I had none I had none so what I did is I put them on my lap I took the solution out and sat it next to me and I got a straw I just dipped it down into it and I capped off the top it put just one or two drops in the bottom I would carefully open up his beak and put it into his his little beak and he would just you know slop it right up he he drank a few drops here and there I didn't want to give him too much too soon so I'm just gonna do that about once an hour 
and until it's nighttime and see if he perks up in the morning. He is just so beautiful. I'm sure it's a he. I'm just sure it's a he. Um, because he just, he always seems like he's on alert, you know, just listening to sounds. And then he quit doing that. You know, he'd pop his head up and just like Romeo would, just like Rocky would, and just kind of listen for a little bit, make a little sound. He's not doing that, so I'm just going to say a prayer that he's okay. Come on, dude, it's okay. Pop down and get yourself something to eat. Come on, get yourself something to eat. He's afraid to do anything. I wonder if he's in pain. Oh, come on, guy. Just hop down. Go to your food. Come on. Go to your food. Well, they just burped. It's another reason I wanted to separate him. I wanted to see what his poop looked like. I'll, I'll look at it in a minute. Please go get something to drink. I think he's just going to hop up back on that box. Whoops, moving butt. There's his poop. Looks completely normal. Yep, looks like a normal chicken poop. Hopefully you're okay. Look, he's starting to peck. He's starting to peck again. Come on, Torch, take a bite. Get you some water. He's looking better. I just wish he would drink on his own. Oh yeah, he's going to town now. Please just drink something. It looked like he wanted to get up and perch and move around a little bit more. The other box was a little bit shallower. This one is a little bit, the length is less. But he can get up and move around a little bit more. He can get up on top of this box. He can get down and have some grub. He's much more active. Look at that. I think he's going to be okay. Look at this poor chicken. He or she, I'm just going to say he, wants out. Wants to go home. Trying to get out. All you got to do is take one drink of water on your own. Just like humans in the hospital. You got to be able to drink. You got to be able to eat. You got to be able to poop. You've conquered all of those except for one. If you take one drink of water, I will let you go back with your flock. This little guy, bouncing off the walls. He did drink, but not on his own. So I'm gonna go ahead and take his food that I've got and put it in the back of that little brooder box. He's already got some water back in there. And I'm gonna put him with his flock mates because he is a completely different chicken. So hopefully I'm making the right decision. Come on, boy, look at us. Come on. <laughs> You're a sweetie pie.
I did end up putting him in a little brooder box in the back of the van and there's food and water in there for him and immediately after I put him down he took a few drinks of water on his own not the electrolyte solution I didn't want to leave that in there overnight just the regular water and he just stayed in the back of that little brooder box even when the other baby chicks came in to roost for the night they all roosted on top of the run that's in the back there and he just stayed in the box by himself I mean as far as I know I wasn't there after it got really dark so you guys just have a little look at this. I made several observations myself. It seemed like he was in pain. It seemed like he was maybe dehydrated because um, he seemed a little confused and he seemed frightened. And I don't know, just like maybe something was wrong with his wings. I looked at his wings and it didn't look like there was anything wrong with them. I looked through his feathers and it didn't look like he had any injuries. I couldn't see any mites or anything on him, but you know, they're pretty small, so they're pretty hard to see. So just let me know what your thoughts are. I'm kind of leaning towards dehydration because once I got some of that electric light solution in him, he really did start perking up. So hopefully I made the right decision and put him back in with the rest of the baby chickens because he was acting very pensive and he had gotten his energy back. So say a hope and prayer that when I go out there tomorrow morning that he's going to be okay and he's back to his normal self. So if you can notice anything, if you see anything that you think you know what it is, please let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, just say a prayer because this is a beautiful, beautiful chicken. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.